Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is the latest film to prove that while CGI is neat and sometimes necessary, practical effects are what really make movies magic. Ever since Jurassic Park came out in 1993 and showed that a computer could bring dinosaurs back to life, CGI has taken over special effects in film. But the truth is, some of the most memorable movie scenes involve practical effects. Practical effect, or special effect, is one that is produced physically and without the aid of CGI. This can include rain, explosions, animatronics, puppets, and makeup. While it is certainly not without CGI, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 is the latest movie to incorporate practical effects. Yes, CGI can give us outer space, but you can thank special effects for this wild car crash and these explosions. There's a storied history of doing things practically in Hollywood. It goes all the way back to the silent era. Even if you haven't seen it, you probably know this iconic shot from Safety Last in which Harold Lloyd dangles from a clock over a busy street. Thanks to how the camera is placed, your sense of perspective is manipulated and you'll never realize that he's actually just feet above a platform. Doing things practically can get expensive, but at one point, there was no other option. Buster Keaton's silent comedy, The General, included a real train and a real bridge collapse. At the time, the film's budget was $750,000. That was a lot back in 1926. To this day, one of the most impressive is the attack on a Turkish train in Lawrence of Arabia which came out in 1962. The scene was shot in southern Spain, which stood in for Jordan. They only had one chance to get this right. And boy, did they. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. 2001 A Space Odyssey came out in 1968. If it were made today, it would probably have been entirely CGI. Instead, the visually groundbreaking film was shot on sound stages in England. Everything from the ape men to the spaceships still hold up today. The film took home one Oscar for best visual effects. It would be the only Oscar legendary director Stanley Kubrick would ever win. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Working practically isn't always easy. Take Jaws, for instance. The making of Spielberg's horror classic was a disaster, as the film ran over budget and past schedule, making things even more difficult, the mechanical shark often malfunctioned. However, this turned out to be a blessing in disguise. To avoid this problem, Spielberg decided to keep the shark off screen as often as possible, just giving us the briefest of glimpses. This mystery is exactly what made the movie so scary, and why Jaws is known as the first true summer blockbuster. A CGI shark would be much easier and more cost efficient, but as Sharknado demonstrated, not quite as compelling. Many of today's directors haven't forgotten about the pure magic of physically bringing something to life. In a common move, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 used both visual and practical effects. Many scenes were real, while others got filled in later on. Even in The Jungle Book, in which basically every character and setting were CGI, Actor Neil Sethi still had to sit through a rainstorm. Some modern movies really go all out. For the zero gravity fight scene in Inception, Christopher Nolan spent a good chunk of the movie's $160 million budget building some real sets, such as the upside down hallway that led to this memorable fight scene. Fate of the Furious pushed a bunch of cars off a six story garage. During a chase scene, Captain America's Civil War flipped a truck over. There is no way the action scenes in Mad Max Fury Road would have been so intense had they not actually filmed them. Overall, CGI is important and can allow filmmakers to build new worlds and characters that would be impossible to find in the real world. However, there's just nothing like some good old fashioned practical effects. They age better over time, require more ambitious thinking, and simply put, look awesome.